okay in this video I want to take you through um, the ray diagrams for long and short sight um, and what they look like uncorrected and then what they look like corrected um, just because there's a few little tiny technicali technicalities little little tiny features of the ray diagram that um, if you can get them right just means you're going to get all the marks basically um, and it means you show a better appreciation of what's going on so um, let's start with a long-sighted person um, so people who are long-sighted they can focus on objects that are far away but they can't focus on nearby objects so if I have a nearby object like an object here and I draw some rays of light for a long-sighted person so hopefully by this stage you've already drawn diagrams for a normal healthy eye focusing on nearby and distant objects so you know what they look like now we're going to look at long-sighted and short-sighted eyes so what happens with rays of light coming from a nearby object well they're diverging when they reach the eye so these rays are diverging and what the eye has to do is focus this light to a point however with a long-sighted person when they're looking at a nearby object their eye can't quite focus enough so the rays of light aren't focused sharply on the retina if I just extend this line here you'll see that these rays of light haven't been brought to a focus on the retina they've been brought to a I mean they would come to a focus somewhere behind the retina if they didn't hit it in reality they're going to hit the retina here but not form a sharp image so I'm not sure if the mouse shows up on this or not so let me just highlight where they're hitting it so these rays of light are hitting the retina here but they're not focused so it's going to be blurry so a long sighted person is going to see blurry images when they're looking at something nearby um, so what kind of lens do we need to correct this we're going to use a converging lens to correct it it's going to do a bit more focusing uh, of the light so it's going to help converge those rays a bit more to bring that light to a focus so if I start off with my object again down here and if I get a ray going straight through the middle like this try and keep my object about the same distance away there we go now here's what you've got to do for these diagrams okay the point is that we're trying to make the rays come to a sharp focus at the retina so we've got to make them end up sharply focused over here but we also want to show the effect that this converging lens has so what you want to try and do with these rays is have a ray going towards the converging lens very similar to above but we want the converging lens to do a bit of converging so instead of that ray carrying straight on we want to show what that converging lens does it does a little bit of converging so this ray isn't going straight on and this ray here isn't going straight on they've been converged slightly and the amount that you converge them is largely up to you it doesn't really matter but the point is to show that they don't just keep going straight on after they've gone through this lens that's not the point of the lens the point of the lens is to converge these rays these these rays which are diverging from the object to to converge them slightly then the eye does the rest of the converging and they're brought to a nice sharp focus on the retina so this is the kind of diagram we're looking for so for uncorrected long sight if they're looking at a nearby object the image would be formed behind the retina <coughs> to correct it we'll use a converging lens which converges these rays a little bit so these rays that are diverging from the object they get converged a little bit by the corrective lens then they got get converged more by the by the eye by the cornea and by the lens of the eye and they're brought to a tight focus here on the retina so I can even bring this one back now uh, so that's the kind of diagram we're looking for those are the features that, that I'd be looking for in that okay how does it look for 
uh, short-sighted. So a short-sighted person can focus on nearby objects, but they can't focus on distant objects. So a distant object, the rays from a distant object pretty much are parallel by the time they hit the eye. So a distant object, so you've really got to be absolutely 100% sure when you read a question on what it's asking you about. Because if you start it off wrong, if you haven't got this bit right, you're never going to get the rest of the diagram right. So <coughs> here we've got rays from a distant object, so they're pretty much parallel by the time they hit the eye. Now the problem with a short-sighted person is that these rays get brought to a focus somewhere before they hit the retina. So by the time they hit the retina, they're no longer tightly focused, and again, they're going to see a blurry image. So for far away objects, they're going to see something blurry, which is no good. So what we're going to do to correct it, we're going to use a diverging lens. A diverging lens here. Now, what's the diverging lens going to do to these rays of light? It's going to make them diverge a little bit. So if we have our rays of light here coming in, what you need to show in your diagram is them being diverged slightly by the diverging lens, because that's what diverging lenses do. They diverge parallel rays of light as if they've come from a point, which is called the focal point. Now here they are, parallel rays coming in from a distant object. They're being diverged slightly by the diverging lens. The eye then converges them, and if the diverging lens has been chosen correctly, it will bring the light to a nice sharp focus at the retina. Um, and we've corrected this short sight, a short sighted person viewing a distant object. <coughs> so, four diagrams here, all different. Okay, All four of these diagrams are different, and you need to be able to reproduce each one and understand what is going on. Um, there are various causes for why people can have. Um, long sight and short sight, um, which you can probably read about in your textbook or whatever. I'm not a specialist on this, I'm not a biologist uh, and I'm not a, an, an eye specialist so I don't know the ins and outs of it but it can have to do with the shape of the eye is one thing I certainly know can cause long sight or short sight but certainly the thing I do know is about these corrections and how they affect the rays of light and that's something you need to be able to reproduce. So the fact that a converging lens converges these rays slightly before they hit the eye and a diverging lens diverges these rays slightly before they hit the eye. If you can get all those features into your diagram, then, then you're absolutely going to have it spot on. So I hope that's useful just to clarify the, the details of these diagrams, um, just so you can get them absolutely right.